What comes to mind when you hear the words collaboration, resilience, innovation? Clayton Smucker was the chairman of the uh, board, uh, the Newark Schools Board of Education. He invited me to, uh, to come to a reception, and uh, we had that one evening in the schools. And after that meeting, he asked, he said to me that uh, he was very pleased to have Ohio State here, but what we need is technical education also. So that was probably the first discussion I had about technical education. And then later, uh, other people from industries and the chamber also talked to me. So that was kind of the beginning of, of the uh, technical education in and around Licking County. It probably came back to Alan Milliken, who was with the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, because he had, he put the whole thing together to begin with, and Howard and, and Gibb came along later, and they were very interested in the campus. I, I, but I think the biggest thing is probably getting the college accredited to, by the North Central Asso Association, because if you come away with a degree from a college that's not accredited, uh, very few people are interested in you. We have high-tech industry here. We have all kinds of jobs, manufacturing jobs and so forth, where we have a lot of kids who really can use that education to be able to have a wonderful life here in raising their families with the skills that they need. I think dad, he wanted to make sure that we had a great array of educational opportunities beyond high school. We had Denison University. The Ohio State University was already, had already originated their Newark campus, and he could see a need for technical and community college education. And I really see COTC as our community's college. Well, I think COTC, it's very affordable for a lot of students. It's convenient now that we're at the three campuses, the extended campuses, makes it so convenient. You don't have to always travel to Newark to go to class. Some students feel like a four-year degree might be too much to try to take on, to try to do, and a two-year degree is just fits better into their lifestyle and maybe their pocketbook. And for many people, it's a stepping stone. They go on for a baccalaureate degree, but getting that two-year degree under their belt really gives them the security and confidence to go on for a four-year degree. At COTC, the faculty care about getting you through and getting your degree. COTC, being much smaller, we can turn on a dime and we can meet the needs of the student much quicker. It's been great to watch the journey over these past few years to see how COTC has adapted to advancing technology and offering different certificates and programs to truly meet the needs of students. COTC definitely changed my life. I was able to become an educator, a scholar, and an activist through my work at the COTC campus. It was very inspiring and empowering to be surrounded by a community who really engages with me and who really cares about me as a student. COTC helped me pursue my career goals because it gave me the foundation. It gave me a foundation for higher education. It gave me a foundation for student success. It gave me a foundation to look forward to the future that I can have and discover all of the possibilities that were available. I think a, a two-year technical degree is probably even more valuable now than it ever used to be. Um, there are so many skilled trades and um, technical uh, opportunities, especially in Licking County, for people to go in and making a very good wage with a two-year degree as far as being employable um, and stepping right into a position that you know is, is far above where they would do where they would be if they just came in right out of high school. Technical colleges are really experiential learning and their their foundation of modality. They create opportunities for students to have 
first line access to their career orientation. I think that applied capacity for students to have a rich, robust theoretical construct combined with application and experiential engagement is a necessity for our workforce for generations to come. As we celebrate Central Ohio Technical College's half century of strengthening our community, we're very thankful for long-standing community support and we're incredibly proud of the impact and success of our more than 15,000 graduates. To best honor the college's rich history, we must continue to innovate for the future and adapt to changing workforce needs. We must perfect our student-first philosophy as we help build a better future for the diverse communities we serve. Today, as we look forward to the next 50 years, Central Ohio Technical College is poised for a very bright future. Our history and mission will be our guide as we extend the vision of our forward-thinking founders and continue to redefine what's possible.